And uh, talking about some storms, mm -hmm. going to be back in the uh, forecast as well. Not today, though. We'll wake up to some cloudy skies, low clouds rolling in, maybe a little fog developing around sunrise and just after as well. But otherwise, it's going to stay dry for today, and it's going to be a little more humid out there. Taking you out to DFW Airport now, 66 degrees we're looking at currently. And we'll have those upper 60s, mid upper 60s, getting out to Rockwall. You're at 64, 65 right now as we get out to Mesquite. So a mild start, and we'll see those temperatures climbing into the upper 70s. It is going to be mostly cloudy. A breezy maybe at times as we get into this afternoon. Can't rule out a little light shower or sprinkle or two because of that uh, increasing moisture across the area. But any storms today will be well out to our west and they will uh, weaken as they work their way in. So we'll keep it storm free out there for today. But let's talk about what's going to be happening over the next couple of days. We are looking at a few days of uh, uh, strong severe thunderstorms. The first one will be Thursday night. We'll see that dry line becoming more active. So after midnight Thursday going into Friday morning, looks like we'll see some thunderstorms maybe just west of Dallas and Fort Worth after sunrise, and those will work their way in during the morning rush through about midday, and then we could see some redevelopment just east of the area as we get into the afternoon. So that will be the uh, first round of potentially uh, severe weather that we will see across the uh, area. And then as we get into Friday night, things will settle down a little bit, and then another round as we go through the day on Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon. This is around 4 p.m. We'll see that next round of thunderstorms rolling on into North Texas, and that continues into Saturday evening and Saturday night. Uh, we will have the next around moving in Saturday night going into early on Sunday. This is just after midnight and you can see during the overnight hours heading into Sunday morning around 7 a.m. We are looking at more storms and things will finally start to taper off Sunday night going into Monday. We'll actually hold on to some slight chances for some showers and thunderstorms then. So here's a severe weather threat as we go through the uh, weekend. Only a marginal one as we head into the late tomorrow. But as we get into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, at least a slight chance for thunderstorms that could be severe each day through the upcoming weekend. And uh, we will be talking more about um, what we can expect detail wise as we uh, get a little bit closer. But let's bring in Mariel now to just talk about how often we see things things like this several days of severe weather during this month. You know, it, it's pretty common, uh, Greg, our severe weather climatology. So this is basically the chance of a severe storm happening within 25 miles of any point. And really, you can see the highlighted kind of a bullseye that's over Oklahoma. And we're just on the outskirts of that bullseye here in North Texas. So this is anywhere between a five, six percent chance of a severe storm just within that small region. And this is between now and April 29th. As we head into May, this bullseye kind of shifts towards the northwest. So this is definitely something that we see very often this time of the year. And uh, well, we'll continue to see it. We'll be watching the next few yeah, days. We'll be watching. So just stay weather aware over the next uh, few days. You see that slight risk that I mentioned Thursday night, and then you see heading on into Friday. We will have that slight risk across the area as we get into Friday. And again, that continues on into the upcoming weekend. Those rain chances too, they will be bumping up to about an 80% coverage on Friday. Friday night kind of scattered about as we get into the weekend, so it won't be storming the entire time and not everyone will see severe weather, but you definitely do need to be weather aware over the next several days. Here's that 14 day forecast going to keep those temperatures in the lower 80s for us and those storm chances will continue again at least through the weekend, maybe into the first part of next week. All right, to show